The Battles of the Bone Crusher Queens. The Lure Plain. Flat, dry, merciless. Temperatures soar and water is scarce. When the rains come, a wildebeest migration will flood into Lua Plain. But for now, only a few hardy adults stir the dust. Yet in this barren landscape, one of Africa's most underestimated predators has risen to greatness. The spotted hyena. Spotted hyenas are extraordinary survivors. Their powerful jaws crush through bone, and their cast iron stomachs digest even rotting meat. Yet in many regions, these bone crushers hunt far more often than they scavenge. <laughs> Female spotted hyenas are remarkable amongst mammals. They are larger, stronger, and fiercer than male hyenas. And they have the most male-like sexual organs of any female mammal. This bizarrely elongated organ was once thought to be a product of high testosterone levels in the womb, but today it continues to mystify scientists. The female hyenas govern the clans, led by all-powerful matriarchs. Neighboring clans are sworn enemies, and territorial trespassers are often viciously attacked. This story begins in Zambia, in the Lua Plain National Park, where spotted hyenas reign as the top predators. In the heart of the park is a thriving hyena clan. The clan's leader, the matriarch, lures her youngest cub from a burrow. It's a tiny female named Nasanta, and today the little cub meets her clan for the first time. For two weeks, the newborn lay hidden in a burrow, away from this main den. But now, she is old enough to join the clan. Nasanta raises her leg in the typical hyena greeting allowing her clanmates to identify her distinctive scent. The clan will recognize her by this smell, and she in turn must learn to recognize theirs. It's an important learning curve, since each hyena has its own rank and the Santa needs to know who's who as she finds her place in the clan. Fortunately, when it comes to rank, the Santa has a head start. She and her twin sister get more than just milk from their mother. As cubs, they also inherit her superior status. As the matriarch, their mother ranks highest in the clan and enjoys the support and protection of all of the clan's dominant females. Nobody dares to confront her or her cubs. But not all hyenas live such charmed lives. Four kilometers to the southwest is another clan, Nasanta's clan's greatest rival. This clan abounds with cubs. Most are the offspring of the high-ranking females, but one among them is different. His name is Twambo, and he is the son of a low-ranking female. Like Nasanta, Twambo inherits his mother's rank, but this time, it's not a blessing. Low-ranking hyenas are often bullied by the clan, and with his mother's rank, Twambo will be a target. His mother will care for him, but she won't dare to defend him from the more dominant females, or their cubs. Behind her lies Twambo's father. He's the alpha male, the top-ranking male in the clan. But all spotted hyena males are subordinate to the females. He ranks even lower than Twambo's mother. Twambo will get little support from his low-ranking parents. He'll have to face his clanmates alone. But for now, it's all good fun. At only a few weeks old, the cubs are more concerned with play than rank. 
For Twambo, the worst is yet to come. Twambo and the Santa's home on the Lua Plain has a cat.